Ooh, antibacterial. But then there was another issue. Georgia, see that? This is a very random place. So right now, that area over there, that's how I ended up with my feelings. And I'm gonna have my full entryway situation sorted. Simple enough, right? Hey beautiful people, welcome back to This Girl's Insights where you can find vlogs and sit down conversations about faith and lifestyle in each of my videos. I share my insights, my journey, my life with you. So I got really distracted doing that because my skin looks really dry. Um, I'm not really vlogging today y'all. The situation is I am rushing to Ikea because there's something I wanted to order online and the thing I want to order is £25 um, but delivery is £15 and I kind of want to have it today. But why am I saying something? I want to order a new shoe drop because I'm trying to create like a shoe drop area like y'all will see it when it's done um so yeah i am just waiting on my cab because like here closes in an hour so i'm hoping to just get there pick it up um maybe have a quick browse and then head back but yeah this is me just vlogging that and i kind of thought i might do an intro because i'm not sure if i might then not turn this day into a vlog but then maybe create a vlog around that involves this i don't know what i'm trying to say anyways yo hi um if you're new to this channel and um, welcome to this girl's insights um my name is tommy lola i would love to have you join the family so please subscribe to join the family and please also like this video i hope you enjoy it um now i need to i think my cab will be in two minutes so i need to get a move on first of all i need to moisturize um because my skin really does look really dry <laughs> Guys, I so wish I came earlier in the day. And I'm surprised I walked out with only the thing I came for. Did I say, by the way, I came to buy a shoe drop. It's the Ikea Bissa. It's the two tier level one. Now the question is, I have got stuff to do today. I've got a video to edit, which is meant to go live today. And I need to finish editing it. But a part of me is like, I also really want to just put this together when I get home. We'll see what I'll do. Maybe I'll edit the video. It takes a couple hours to upload. And while it's uploading, I will put this together. Beautiful people. Hey y'all, <laughs> it has been like five days since the last clip and I am wondering, why was I rushing? Why was I doing all the rushing to get to um, Ikea on Sunday? It is now Friday and do you know what this is? Well, you might not actually be able to tell because there's more packages there now. But y'all, I still did not even put together the, what do you call it? The shoe storage, shoe drop. I always call it different things. Like, would you guys call it shoe drops or shoe storage or whatever? I am excited though because I have had an Amazon package this is linked to the shoe drop area by the way this is bigger than i thought though um y'all can't see it yet though one second where is my coffee actually it's hot but it's not like piping if you know what i mean i want another one though i feel like it's been such a long time since i've drank coffee out of a mug because i tend to be using like mugs with lids nowadays because i'm always next to a computer i feel like and i get nervous um yo i am sidetracking coffee down um so basically i'm gonna have the shoe storage um so right now that area over there so like you've got like random packages um that's some like some charity stuff i need to drop off and then that's like the bag i always take out the house so that's where like the shoe storage is gonna go and then on top of that and above the shoe storage i want to have some kind of like decor pieces i want to have like either artwork or a mirror i've not really kind of figured it out but then i also want it to be like really functional and i don't know if i've ever said this and maybe if you've seen like my last studio flat in that flat tour when i'm trying to like decorate a space or design a space it's like there are two main things that matter to me it needs to reflect my personality and it needs to be functional. Like I always start with what do I want the space to do? And then if it can do that, how can it look good while doing that? Um, so I said all that to say I ordered an automatic soap dispenser, but it's not for soap. It's because when I come into the house here, yeah, I normally have like antibac gel on my office desk right over there. So like if, or if I take in packages or anything, like it's just there for me to use straight away um, if I get a delivery. Um, but what I wanted to do was in this like shoe storage, shoe drop entryway area, I don't know what I'm calling it. I wanted to have like the antibac gel there, but I also wanted to have an automatic dispenser so that I'm not touching the bottle um, when I am um, basically trying to get the gel. So basically following the year that was 2020, we now, I now think about these things differently. So I think you all have already seen like I bought like an automatic soap dispenser for my bathroom. So I have got another one, but this is a different one. It's not the same style. And actually, it's not as big as I thought it would be. Let me just show it to you guys. Okay, I will be honest. I do not think this is the prettiest thing in the world. Um, there was one that I really wanted that was gorgeous. It was beautiful. The only issue with that is going back to the idea of things being functional and not just looking good. Some of the reviews were a bit iffy. And I think especially because like I knew I wanted to use it for antibacterial gel, which is thicker. And a lot of these automatic soap dispensers, they kind of work off like foam soap or like very liquid soap. So they can't even work with thick soap. So I kind of just thought if it's struggling with thick soap, it's going to struggle with like 
antibacterial gel <clears throat> and this one had really good reviews for antibacterial gel and the fact that it's actually able to dispense it and it doesn't get stuck or block up um so that's why i got this one i feel like i was more excited before i was more excited before i opened it it's not pretty but it does the job i mean well i guess it's slightly i thought it looked better than the basic silver or basic white one so i guess it's slightly pretty what do you guys think? But yeah, it runs on batteries, by the way. And here's the other thing as well. So the thing about it is, if it looks too bulky on the space, um, I can also hang it up against the wall. So that's another option as well. Um, I'm talking too much. Um, so yeah, yeah. I just came to show you all this. And hopefully, the next clip you see will be me actually putting together the shoe storage. Um, actually, what I might do is, do you guys want to see my other packages? Because tell me why. Tell me why I literally just finished clearing up all of this space and all of my packages. And somehow... I now have, let me show you, more packages. Just more and more and more of the packages. I think those two, those two were there before though. But yeah, I feel like with this whole, oh, what just happened? What is going on with the lighting? But yeah, I feel like with this whole process, like I am just like, like I get like so many packages, like all the time. And I don't even want to think about, well, I can't think about the money because like I'm doing this to a budget. Um, so I'm not so much panicked about the money bit, but it's just, whew. and maybe another time I'll do like a video of, oh, I'm happy about this. Yo, look at this. Um. Maybe at another time I'll do a video about, what was I going to say? About how much this process is costing me, what the budget is looking like and all of that stuff. So yo, I have bought, uh, and to be fair, I'm not sure if this is going to work. This is a bit of a risk. But I have bought a cutlery storage, like a cutlery storage there. What do you guys think? I'm not sure if I like how wide it is. There was like a grey option. They're, actually, I really like these. There's loads of different options. But I kind of went for the white one because I think it would work well in my kitchen. What I'm starting to think is my kitchen too white. I was basically looking to buy like a utensil holder. But then I kind of just thought maybe I can free up a kitchen cupboard if I combine my utensil holder with a cutlery holder. The only issue is this is a cutlery holder and most people actually put like serviettes or something else at the back here. So I'm not sure if all my cutleries will actually, like all my actual kitchen, like the kitchen utensils will actually fit in here because this is not as high as a utensil holder but that's a different conversation um but this is here i want to hope for something that would cheer me up that would make me happy because i wasn't as excited as i thought i would be about the what do you call it oh dun elm okay so from dun elm i actually i actually don't know what this is <laughs> one second y'all and now i have even more boxes to add to the pile of boxes i really need to flatten them boxes like today it's gonna get done okay y'all i've moved to the floor because i am open that that's a bit more comfortable so I think most of this actually, so this is the Ikea shoe drop that I picked up the other day. Um, oh, this is new. This is a towel fan. Um, 25 quid. It was from Dunham. I was ordering my new cushion, my new cushion inserts um, for my cushion covers um, because I was like, well, while I'm paying for delivery for this cushion inserts, let me check if there's anything else I needed. So I'm not sure if I'm going to unbox this, but you can just see what it looks like. I decided to buy the fan before, like, you know, we have our one week of hot weather and you can't buy a fan anywhere in the country. Why does that happen? Every year, we have one bit of hot weather and all the fans, run, like, all the fans in the stores run out. And I don't get why that happens, because you would think that all the people that bought the fans the year before would still have their fan. Like, do they chuck it out after the week of hot weather? Is that what happens? Or is it that the fans break after a week? I hope the fans, I, this better last longer than a week. For £25, um... And I get that twenty five pounds is a back break in, but it better last longer than a week. Oh yeah, this is a very random clip. I'm not sure why I started vlogging this. I apologize. But the funny thing is, before this package came, this one came, and I thought it was the fan. Do you all see how small this box is? And I was like, oh no, I didn't check the dimensions of the fan. But yeah, I actually don't remember what else I bought. I remember the cushions and the fans. So I don't know what could be in this box. What is this? <gasps> oh my days! It's my new bin! I totally forgot I ordered this. Um, so this is a new... What's this? Oh, face masks. Random. But those, I actually quite like the elastic straps on that. Oh, it's gone. It's all gone. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the bottom. One second. Oh, yeah. I ordered a new bin for the bathroom. So new bathroom bin. Yay! I forgot about that. I will leave the link to everything in the description box below, by the way, if anyone's interested. So I'll leave the link to the fan to the Don Elm, to the Bisa IQ, including the soap dispenser um, or the hand sanitizer dispenser. Um, I'm sure I will grow to love it. Maybe when I see it in the space. So, and then, so let me put this back. And then the last thing, so I guess I'm Don Elm. I don't know why I'm doing a random unboxing in the middle of this vlog. Um, I guess it's cheered me up. But in this unboxing, we've got my fan, we've got my face mask, we've got my bin. And then the last thing are the cushions. 
and they are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. So I ordered, so my cushion covers are 45 by 45. I ordered 52 by 52, I think. Um, just because normally when you get cushion inserts, you want it to at least be five centimeters bigger than your cushion cover. So like it properly fills it out. And I don't, a part of me is like, I might as well unbox this when I do a vlog, because I am going to do a vlog where I, I go through all the cushion covers I got from, where did I get it from? Shein. But I guess, seeing as you're here, I might as well show you what it looks like. So these were apparently £3.50 each. Um, and this is actually, let me just show you actually. This feels really soft. That actually, it doesn't feel bad. I have gone for, what do you call it? I want to say polyfiber, but I feel like that's wrong. But basically, none of the duck feather, like I am sick and tired of feathers coming out of places whenever I have like a duck feather or something feather or chicken feather or whatever feather that they are putting inside cushions. Um, this is just like normal foam in there. But yeah, that feels really good, y'all. Um, anyways, you'll see more of this in the vlog about my... Oh, actually, you probably that vlog is already probably already live um, by the time you're seeing this. Um, so I'll leave an eye to it there if you want to see how these look in the actual cushion covers. I need to go make another cup of coffee and... Ooh, Ooh. I need to go see if this works with my utensils actually. Yeah, that's put me in a good mood. Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, well, I guess you never left. I'm the one that left because this is obviously a different day for me. Um, but for y'all, I guess it's the same video. So how are y'all doing? I hope you're enjoying it. It is currently like, it is night time. So it's not even a different day, it's a different night. It is 10.55 p.m. at night. And I'm hoping that because this is such like a, like it's such a small product that it's a quick assembly and I don't need to be using tools and stuff. So it's a quiet assembly. Um, but we will see. I'm glad I am finally doing this. Um, I still don't understand why. After me rushing to Ikea that Sunday to basically get this, I then didn't put it together for ages. So it's nice that this is finally happening. And I'm looking forward to like the shoe drop area like coming together. Like I don't have an exact vision of what I'm going to do with it yet. But then hopefully it's going to go here. And I'm thinking either mirror or artwork or something like above it up there. So like some mirror, some artwork. Um, I'm struggling to find a mirror I want. What I wanted was like a, like a rectangular mirror, but then instead of the top being straight, it's like curved at the top. Um, but I can't find one that fits into this space. I might just go for like a circular mirror. I don't really know. By the way, guys, um, in case you don't already know, there is like a separate video where I kind of go through the assembly of the IKEA Bissa. So that's not going to be in this vlog, but then if you do want to watch that, I will leave an eye. So you can watch that after this vlog and it will just be up on my channel if you want to have a search. Oh, can we see that? As you can see, it is like a good height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple decor items on here. Progress! Um, I can't wait till this is done. I will be back when I've kind of figured out what I want to do decor wise and where I'm ready to kind of finish off the space, I think. Um, well, hey, y'all. So tired. Beautiful people. So it has been a minute since I have thought about this shoe drop area slash entryway slash whatever it is. All of this situation, that bit. It has been a minute since I have thought about it. Um, I've actually really been enjoying using it. Um, I don't have that much in there yet. Um, the bottom one is empty. I'm just basically, whenever I wear something, instead of putting it back where I normally put my shoes, I just put it in here. Um, it's just, you know... Yeah, I tend to wear the same stuff all the time. So yeah, like apart from heels, apart from like my Sunday heels, those actually get put away. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, I've actually been enjoying using it as a shoe drop area. The thing that's been frustrating me is the fact that even though it fits in the space, it doesn't fit like, up against the wall. So like you notice there is this gap and it's quite a wide gap actually, like my whole hand can go down there. So there's this gap at the back and the issue is the skirting board. So as you can see, um, and ignore the pencil bits for a second, but basically Ikea give you this curve so that when you push the shoe drop, um, or whatever people call it, shoe cabinet, um, back against the wall, it can go up against the skirting board. But then my skirting board is a lot higher than that. It's super higher than that. So my initial plan was like, okay, I just need to raise the curve higher and then I can push it back properly. Simple enough, right? But then there was another issue. So let's go back to the pencil mark. So as you can see, as, as part of that plan, I then did the pencil mark, but I realized if I cut all of this off, it's gonna cut off some of the wood that this is attached to. And yo, this is how I ended up in my feelings. And it is so annoying because to be fair, as soon as I saw that, I was like, I don't even want to think about this. So, and the thing is, like, I've kind of been using it on and off, even with the gap. So I'm trying to figure out, should I just live with the gap? Or maybe I can put something at the back that could cover the gap. Like, I was thinking of just nailing an extra bit of wood 
like just white like MDF stuff to the gap so it fills the gap a bit more because a part of me is I can't imagine anything being small enough that I'm going to put on here to drop down the gap I just don't like it I don't know I need to do something with it basically I am having one of those days where I'm just trying to get stuff done so I've decided I'm just going to set up what I have and I'm just going to start using it um I've also ordered the mirror for this space as well so there's a mirror that's going to go here um though I need to order some command strips um to hang up the mirror because obviously I don't want to drill holes on the wall and then when i move out i have to fill the holes it's a whole situation so for anyone who wants to hang up furniture to be fair it's my first time using command strips um because in my last flat i did put holes in the wall and then it was annoying having to fill them um <laughs> so i guess like for anyone who wants to hang up furniture in a renter friendly way um i don't know why i did the speech marks and um, anyone that wants to hang up furniture but not drill holes in the wall um but not drill holes in the wall. Apparently command strips like are the way to go. So I need to order that on Amazon Prime today. And then that should be here tomorrow. Um, hopefully. But for now, I'm just going to kind of just set up what I have. And then just get things moving in the right direction. Because I kind of just want, I just want this to be done right now. And then I will figure out the space issue later on. Or maybe I'll, I won't mind once everything is then set up. Where are the instructions? I thought I saw instructions. Oh yeah. The instructions are basically on the box. And it just basically says that's how you switch on and off. And just stick some batteries in there. Is it AA or AAA? AA batteries, we're hey. Am I the only one that's just always buying batteries because she's not sure if she has some? And then at some point I'll be like, no, I've got loads. And that's the time when I don't. So it's plus down, minus up, plus up, minus down, plus down, minus up, and then minus down, plus up, perfect. So yeah, yo, if this works, I'm so excited about this purchase. Um, Because I guess the idea is that not only is this my shoe cabinet area, I like my, I guess it's my impromptu, it's my fake entryway. So if you have a studio flat or you don't have an actual entryway, it's a place for me to kind of have a final look before I leave the flat, come in, put my keys down, disinfect my hands before I touch anything else. Um, huh? Do they? Do they show me how to add in the antibacterial? Okay. One thing that would be nice is if it came with instructions. Oh, yeah, and apparently you can adjust like the dosage, so how much it brings out and how much it actually pours out. And you can also get it in loads of different colors, um, apparently. But what I would like to do is to be able to open it. Then here. Oh. Yeah, okay. So I guess that's how it works. But I need to just, let me switch it off. So if I press the off button it should just there's a light that flashes and then it goes off but how do i open this there's got to be a, like there's something here so i assume this is why i put the job i can't open it oh it wasn't that hard i just had to pull i was actually being extra i think i was just scared of breaking it so there you go and i assume you just put the gel in here so let's do this 500 ml bottle of antibacterial gel um and i'll just see how much i can pour in I pray that this will be a blessing to me and to my home in Jesus name. Amen. Okay, so this probably had about maybe 400 mil left. And, oh, there you go. Antibacterial gel actually feels really gross if you're not intending to like, like you know when you're not expecting the feel of it and it just comes out of nowhere. Okay, so this, that's actually taken, I think about 400 mil. And I'm going to open the second 500 mil bottle. Um, I don't think there is like a limit line on how much you can put in but i'm just going to fill it up as much as i can okay okay and then probably about so i think it can probably take about 500 mil or maybe 450 mil actually i'm just gonna somewhere around go for 400 i know i'm just i feel like i'm just making up numbers now so to switch it back on i just need to press the on button for a few seconds and i wait for the light and then i think that's on now so if i then try it ooh, okay antibacterial yo um, um i might want to reduce how much is coming out because quite a bit is coming out there where's the box for those of you that have seen my clean with me videos you will know how much i love floor wipes um if you haven't um y'all i love floor wipes so much they're just so useful and they hold so much moisture it is amazing okay that's clean and now i'm going to set up the other stuff that i have the other thing that's going on there is i think you guys saw this in my deco haul but then it's basically just this um it's basically this chrome mirror tray that i got from um that I got from Next, and it's gold tinted. Then the next thing I was gonna go on there is a dispenser, and I bought this dispenser for this table specifically because I thought it was a nice color contrast. Um, but then now I'm looking at it, I'm actually thinking another one I bought might go better. So something like this, because that's just very, this goes more with the 
gold mirror tray than this this is a bit more of a clash and this is vanilla and cocoa bin or coconut chocolate well from next again as well oh it actually smells like chocolate okay that's interesting we'll see how i feel about this um the arranging i'm also just going to take off the sticker at the bottom so that it doesn't um reflect when it's up against the mirror so here's what it's looking like and i'll be honest i've still not figured out what i want to do with this space um hopefully by the time you by the time you see me next i'll be putting the mirror up um and hopefully by then i also know what i want to do with this initial thoughts is i might just use this which i was originally meant to use here because i feel like they slightly go together to an extent and then maybe use this as well i don't know i feel like that groups well together anyways i need to figure it out um and hopefully next time you see me i will have i don't actually remember the last clip that you saw but I have finally found a mirror that I like to go in this space. So now I think I'm just going to finish all of the... I'm going to finish this space today. That's about to happen. So I want to hang this mirror up. And I'm going to be using um, command strips. This is my first time using command strips. I am nervous about this. So I have gone for like the heaviest one. So 7.2 kg. I just ordered these on Amazon. Um, So I'll leave the link in the description box below. But I have watched all the videos. And they seem to be really good. Um... I think some of the videos were like, don't hang it over your bed. Like, don't use the hang stuff over your bed. So I'm kind of like, wait, what are you trying to say? Is it not that secure? By the way, let me show you all the mirror. Um, So I got this one right here. Torakov or Ikea Torakov. I will, again, I think it is, but I will leave the link in the description box. It comes in different sizes. And I feel like I got 50 centimeters. I don't know why I don't remember nothing, y'all. Like, I have had this mirror for a minute and I just haven't done anything with it. Because I kept putting off this command strip thing because I was nervous about it. But today we're about to get this sorted. And I'm going to have my faux entryway situation sorted. So I think the first thing I have to do is I have to wipe the wall with isopropyl alcohol. So going forward, what I'll do is I will switch over to voiceover Tommy Lola just so I can focus on this. So I have just got, um, which is just useful to have in the house, by the way. So I am just wiping down the areas where I know I'm going to put the command strips on. I'm not wiping down the whole area. So at this stage, I'm just gauging where I'm going to put it. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. Um, I think it's just because first of all, it's a mirror. I don't want anything to break. And also, I think it's just, I really like this mirror. I don't want to have to replace it. And with me, decor takes so long and decisions take so long that once I've got something I like, I want it to be done. I don't want to have to redo this area. And what I might do is I'm probably going to wipe down the back of the mirror as well with isopropyl alcohol, just to remove any like dirt from the surface that could affect stickiness. Well, you're like, just pray. I just pray that it's going to be okay. So yeah, I'm starting off with six. Jesus, you love me too much. Oh. This is not as aligned as I thought it was. I know it doesn't need to be symmetrical, but I'm being OCD about this. Okay, I think I've got it to be as symmetrical as I'm going to get it to be. Um, so, two at the top, two in the middle, kind of, and then two near the bottom. The instructions say don't put it at the bottom, so you can, when you need to lift it up, you can lift it up easily. Um, but yeah, what do you all think? Anyone that's used command strips before, is this correct? I think because everywhere I've seen it, they've used it for like rectangular shapes. So that's made me more nervous as well. I've not seen anyone use it for something round. And I think the next step is I've got to press this down on each one for 30 seconds. So I will do that now. Um, is that it? So the, and then press each one for 30 seconds and then stick it on the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, okay, I'm watching their video now and I feel like I made up this step about pressing for 30 seconds, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh, I'm meant to press it for 30 seconds when it's on the wall. Okay, and now I'm gonna take the stickers off and stick it to the wall. Now I've marked out very slightly with a bit of pencil where it's supposed to go. So hopefully this should be nice and easy. And I think this is where I was meant to press up against each sticker for 20 for 30 seconds. So I think there's two up here. One, two, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi. I'm pretty sure this is the slowest Mississippi count of all time. I should just use my phone. Um, I don't know why I'm not using my phone. I'm also pretty sure I'm not meant to be counting Mississippis, but you know, we do what we have to do. 
I feel like we're probably on 18 Mississippi, 19 Mississippi. I'm probably just gonna, you know, we're just gonna fast forward through this bit while I'm Mississippi away. I love this already. I love this. It just opens up this space. Like, obviously you guys can just see me, but me looking in the mirror, it literally just opens up this space. I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna do the 30 second count on my phone because that's probably more accurate. Does that not look good? Does that not look so good? I need to wipe the mirror, the print all over it. But this is actually not the end of it. Because now it then says, so the instructions are on the back of the command strips, by the way. But now it says, once you've held it on there for 30 seconds, to so ensure like a long-term hold, it doesn't say this, I am paraphrasing this because the instructions are very short. But I think they're saying to ensure like a long-term hold, I want to take the mirror off the wall with its Velcro bits stuck onto it, and then leave the wall Velcro bits stuck on there, then press that again for 30 seconds, leave it for an hour, and then put the mirror back, and then I'm done. Okay, let's do this. Yep, it is stuck on there. <laughs> How do you take this off? I guess I shouldn't have been worried. I can't. Oh. <laughs> I think this is there for life. <laughs> I can't take it off. I guess I shouldn't have been worried. <laughs> And obviously, if you all want to know how this does, whenever you're watching this video, just comment below and ask me if it's still, like, if there are any issues and I'll respond to your comments um, to let you know if this actually worked long term. And this is on there. It's on there. Which is really good. Like, comment strips are apparently amazing. If this is before the adhesive has had time to build, um, this is actually amazing. But yeah, let's watch this space. I just really don't want it to drop. And I know it wouldn't drop to the floor, but then I just don't want it to drop because I like the mirror and I'm going to have stuff on here. Um, and on that note, let me wipe down the mirror, wipe down the space, and then we're just going to quickly decorate this space with a couple items. I feel like back in the day I used to use a newspaper to clean my mirror, but I don't have newspapers anymore. Did anyone used to do that, or does anyone still do that? Like, a newspaper will get you the best shine. Oh yeah, by the way, I have been using the shoe cabinet, so it's like it's literally full of shoes, and I've also got shoes in the bottom one as well. Yeah, and I think you guys have saw this earlier in the video. It's currently off because- oh no! I thought it was off. It was not off. I'm just going to switch that off. Um, it's also on the highest intensity to release a lot. So there we go. Um, just gonna anti back my hands and wait for all of that to dry. The next thing is the mirrors tray from Next. Again, everything will be linked in the description box, as well as the diffuser. I feel like this was from Next as well. I can't remember. I think this was also from Next. And then last but not least, I'm actually gonna put a plan on there. Let me go get it. Ta-da! I might get a taller one because what I like is I don't I don't know if you can see. I like the reflection of the plant in the mirror so i might just get a slightly taller one now to be fair this is properly and utterly wilting so y'all by the way does anyone know how to take care of orchids because the the thing is be dropping did y'all just see that this is literally what's been happening so when i bought this all of this was full and so was this and they've just been dropping but yeah, also when i got it it felt like the roots were already out of the pot so am i meant to repot this like does anyone know what i'm supposed to do with this because i know that they drop off and then they grow back but i assume i'm supposed to take care of it so if y'all know, I should probably watch some videos. I'm gonna watch some videos. But if y'all know what I need to do, let me know. But for now, I'm just gonna put it this way because then it doesn't look too bad. I'm not sure about this gold tray here. So that might move and something else might come on here. Or it might just be this by itself. But that feels a bit bare. So for now, this is what it's looking like, y'all. And this is my faux entry way space. What do y'all think? Let me know if you want, if you have ideas about how to decorate it. Um, but for now, this is what this space is going to look like. I am so excited, y'all. I feel like, do y'all remember the before? If you have like a small space or like a studio flat or a small flat without an entryway, as much as this is not a traditional entryway, um, I hope it kind of gives you a bit of a vibe of what you can do so you can kind of create your space. So if I just pan the camera that way, you can see that that's the front door. So when you come in the front door, you literally come straight into the space. So I just put this behind now. I couldn't exactly put it right in the middle of the front door because I've got my office area here. I'll just put it behind. So it's literally like as I'm leaving the house, I can come in, look in the mirror, um, and then basically just walk out the door. Similarly, when I come back in, I tend to come into this space first. I hang up my bag. I can take some anti-back and then I, you know, take off my coat, all of that stuff. 
and then I go wash my hands. So anyways, I said all that to say, even if you have a small space, think about like if you can find a corner that you can be creative with or so you can create like a faux entryway um, for yourself. Um, I hope this has inspired you. I hope you've enjoyed it. I am so glad that this space is finally done, especially because there's so much, there's so many other stuff that needs to happen in this flat. I'm thinking of redoing the office area, refurbishing the office area, even though I still have loads of other bits to do, but that's a different conversation. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Um, this was relatively inexpensive as well. So I think all of this is under a hundred quid. I'll have to do the math, but I think this was 35 or 30. This was probably around 30 or maybe 20. So all of this was under a hundred quid and you can probably do it for cheaper and it's still a functional space. So I now have my shoe storage, which I didn't have before because shoes were just like on the floor. I now have my anti-back area. I've got my mirror that I can look at before I leave the house. And it's also like a really nice, pretty space and it just smells nice as well. So every time, even when I'm in the bedroom and I have the door open, I just have a bit of a, I can smell the scent of the diffuser. So what I'll say is play around with your space, um, see what you can do with it. Please give the video a thumbs up. When you like the video, it really does help with my engagement and I am trying to grow this channel. So please do like this video to support. Please also leave a comment below because I feel like I have asked all the questions. And also if you have any questions about any other stuff that has happened or any of the things I have bought or I've used, or how I decided to put together this space you can ask below um and last but most definitely not least if you have not subscribed already please join the family I would love to have you I have a lot more decor videos coming up I'm trying to upload content regularly as well I don't remember if I introduced myself at any point in this video if I haven't um my name is Tommy Lola. Welcome to This Girl's Insight. I'd love to have you join the family. There will be a lot more decor vlogs coming up as I set up my flat, usual lifestyle videos, sit down conversations, just all of the good stuff, y'all. So whatever device you're using to watch this video, find the red subscribe button, click on it, and I would really appreciate it. Like, it's also really odd seeing my reflection because I can see myself in the camera and I can also see my reflection in the camera. And that's slightly putting me off. Um, but I'm loving it. Um, so I'm just going to say goodbye to you here. Um, is it weird that I'm talking to you through the mirror? It's not weird that I'm talking to you through the mirror, is it? No, it's not. Does it look like I'm looking at you through the mirror? Yo, this video is long enough. You don't need this. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. God bless you. Jesus loves you. I may the spirit of God be with you. Bye, guys. I literally only need four questions. Why did I? I don't know. I don't know. This is so pretty.